Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. I am looking at a Land Rover Discovery Sport. It's the 2 litre Ingenium. So what I'm going to explain to you here, it only relates to this engine here. Alright, it's another one again I've seen. It's come back from Land Rover. They've put a new EGR cooler filter on it. Um, possibly, I think they might have... I'm not sure if he said they changed the whole EGR as well, the cooler. But we have the code back yeah within 24 hours exhaust recirculation insufficient flow why does it happen why does it come back so quickly so before you change the dpf give your finger a rub around in the exhaust if it looks like that then your dpf is cracked so I'll just draw this up quickly here sorry about my two-year-old drawing uh, diagram but say you got your air filter here air inlet comes in through the engine yeah back out the exhaust manifold to the dpf so these little dots here say your your dpf captures the soot here what happens is it comes away from the side of the filter here or the center of it gets cracked and then you start getting your particles of soot come down the side it gets past the dpf it travels back up to the egr cooler here blocks the filter up quickly uh, and that's why you get insufficient flow so it's mainly these two litre ingenium euro 6 engines that get affected with this so if you get the earlier Discovery Sport 2.2 doesn't really have this problem. Uh, it's a better vehicle in my in my opinion, sticking with the older one. But the problem is there, it's, it's Euro 5, so it's not ULES compliant for Central London and places like that. So here we are under the vehicle. There's your DPF system there, yeah. Like I said, and there's your tube after the DPF that runs right back up to the EGR cooler, which is miles up there. Now one thing that Land Rover could have done is put something here, a removable section sort of between here and here. If they just put a removable section of that with a little filter in here, you know, where it's a sort of serviceable item that you can just take out, um, clean it or replace it and put it back in. It should be literally like a 10 minute job, that could have been a 10 minute job, but they've turned it into hours of torture and sort of, I think it's round about sort of 400 pound or something like that in labor to change it irrelevant but just noticed that it's quite a lot of rust on this for such a modern car well i hope that's explained this uh good enough i did do a little bit of an explanation on this before but uh to be honest i didn't really explain it very good um i was explaining it saying that with the filter blocked you know um or with the dpf cracked the flow just doesn't flow right but I think it's more it's a better explanation here what I'm saying today I've seen a lot more of them since that and I've got to know the workings of these a little bit better and that's basically what happens why these things keep killing DPFs I've got no idea and neither does Land Rover by the looks of it because they just keep chucking new ones back in someone came to me with a 2021 one of these and it, it had already been through three DPFs and it now required a fourth a fourth one so there's obviously some major issue someone came to me and asked me can I diagnose why it's it's why it's killing the DPFs I mean if Land Rover can't figure it out um, I know that doesn't really mean much but I, I you know if they can't figure it out I can't um, unless you've got a physical problem you can see you know um it's just i don't know if it's down to cheap inferior parts or is it something of the operating system is making the dpf get too hot but for me to know that i'd need to get a one of these with a working dpf you know watch live data and drive it around for hours upon end to actually figure out what's going on is it getting too hot um or whatever i'd say it's more than likely overfueling or it's it's just a they're just bad parts to be honest well that's it it's the land rover discovery sport or the range rover evogue so that's it i'll see you on our next video